When I took office, we were losing nearly 800,000 jobs a month, and we're mired in a ruck. Oh, Today, I believe that as a nation, we Obama. are moving forward. Oh, this is the but We campaign. have much more to do. So what's my plan? First, we create a million new manufacturing jobs. And as we end the war in Afghanistan, let's apply half the savings to pay down our debt. Read my plan. Compare it to Governor Romney's and decide for yourself. Too many Americans are struggling to find work in today's economy. President Obama and I this both better not be one of those commercials. Family. The difference is, my policies will make things better for them. Burn. My plan will create 12 million new jobs over the next four actor. years. I approve this message because we can't afford another four years like the last four years. I just don't know how the president could have come into office, oh, this is 23 a million people out of work, and spent his energy and passion for two years fighting for Obamacare. The primary beneficiary of that repeal are insurance companies. What things would I cut from spending? I I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. I'm going to stop what? other things. I like PBS. I love Big Bird. What? I actually like you, too. Wait, but what? I'm not going to keep spending I've money on things PBS. to borrow money from China to pay for it. I vote for Obama number right two, away. We took a concerted effort to go out and find women who had backgrounds that could be qualified to become members of our cabinet. I went to a number of women's groups and said, can you help us find folks? And they brought us whole binders full of, uh, of women. I was proud of the fact that after I staffed my cabinet huh. and my senior staff, <laughs> if I become president, I'll get America working again. I will get us on track to a balanced budget. The president hasn't. I will. When my grandfather fought in World War II and he came back and he got a, a GI Bill and that allowed him to go to college, that was something that advanced the entire country. And I want to make sure that the next generation has those same opportunities. That's why I'm asking for your vote, and that's why I'm asking for another four years. We have come to an end of this town hall debate. Our thanks to the participants for their time. That was serious stuff. Well. <laughs> yes, we're talking politics. Oh, no. Ask away. <laughs> Question time! Okay, so who are those two men? The runners for the president. Mitt Romney and Barack Obama. Mitt Romney and President Obama. And talk about some of the things you heard them saying. Well, they were talking about um, the politics, usuals, and the criticism things. Jobs, lots and lots of jobs. Yeah, it was a lot of jobs, honestly. Poverty, he was talking about um, Obamacare. He loves Sesame Street and he's gonna get rid of Big Bird. And what do you think about Romney saying that he loves Big Bird but wants to stop funding PBS? Oh, that is where I draw the line. I but want my kids to grow up with Sesame Street. Elmo's there, that was my childhood friend. I think he's saying that we're investing too much money in media and things that don't further America's growth, even though Sesame Street kind of makes kids grow. <laughs> so I don't know why he used that as a reference. That wasn't a very good choice. If Mitt Romney is going to create a lot of jobs and he's going to help us get our economy back, I think PBS is a small sacrifice that we should take. Both sides during elections make commercials that say bad things about the other one, and sometimes they even lie. Why do you think they do that? Because they'll barely, barely mean. Because they know for a fact that without saying some negative things about the other person, that they will not get elected. This is like a uh, middle school where you get bullied all the time and criticized. They lie to make the other person look awful so that more people think that the other person is an awful person and they vote for the good guy. Evil, yes. Politics, yes. They're like five-year-olds fighting over a toy. Except the toy is America. Can you describe President Obama? What is he like? He seems sort of, you know, like, Faithful, you know, like the loyal type of person. He's black. Black me? Oh, well. He's really nice. Good guy. I think he's genuine and he really wants to help America. I also really like him because of the not bad Obama meme. <laughs> and what about Mitt Romney? How does he come across to you? He seems confident all the time. Confident? And I think that maybe he could steer this country in the right way. Maybe he won't fix it entirely, but I think that he'll help us out a lot. I don't know why this word comes to mind. He almost seems overproduced. And do you know what political party Obama and Romney are in? Uh, I'm not that good with politics. The White House party and the Black House party. The donkey and the elephant. Barack Obama's Democrat and... Mitt Romney's Republican. What is the difference between being a Democrat and a Republican? Democrats are the people who help vote. Republicans are people who, they're people who own land. Republicans are more towards the um, upper classes. 
of America, whereas Democrats, they work more for the middle class and the lower class. Republicans are tough, and they, um, they're keeping this um, country well-balanced, and Democrats are just giving away money. Most of the times, Republicans are very, you know, conservative, um, you know, anti-gay, anti-woman. Democrats are more, you know, free, I guess. Like, they're fine with that. What I don't understand is, you know, just the different people. You're Republican, you're, you're Democrat, Republican. Oh, I love George Bush, Democrat. I hate George Bush. Oh, I hate Obama. I love Obama. I don't understand. Do you think that the Electoral College is the best system to elect the president? The what? Electoral College? What is that? I don't know what the Electoral College is. Do you think that the Electoral College is the best system to elect the president? No, not really. Do you know what the Electoral College is? No. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't. Even adults, Even adults don't. When you grow up, do you want to be president? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I honestly don't see myself as president, but I see myself more as a vice president. No. President, you might be assassinated, you know? No, it's, it's too hard, and even rappers make more money than the president. That's what I can't understand. And if you were the president, what's the first thing you would do? Honestly, I would run into my room and jump on the bed. The first thing I'll do is thank everyone for voting for me. Stop wars and stop nuclear weapons. I would cut every single fund that we've put into put giving cl money to middle class and low class because that's just a waste of money. I would focus more on creating jobs so those people can get jobs. I would not let anybody have a single paper in the world. We're wasting trees and soon we'll have no trees left. Then what's gonna happen? Well, I'll die because there's no oxygen. Do you think that President Obama has done a good or bad job since he's been elected? I don't know. He's been a good president. I think he's done a really good job. He's like the first president who says he supports gay marriage. At least he had a plan. From what we know, Romney doesn't have a plan. He's not all the way up. He's like just like in like the half bar of good. He's okay. He end. He pretty much ended the war in Iraq. While he was in office, Ob Osama was defeated. So you know that's that's some that's good news. But you know he hasn't been the best president. And what's the thing that you think is the most broken right now in our country? What's the thing that needs the most fixing? First of all, war, which is, which I don't think will ever end. Taxes and you know people losing jobs. Jobs, definitely jobs. Jobs, poverty, better education. Potholes. There's a pothole right in front of my house. I can't really think of anything that needs to be done now because everything seems to be okay. And what do you think the president's policy on taxes should be? It should be, like, they should tax rich people more because it's so completely opposite now. Why are they taxing the more poor people more than the people who have more money than them? I think the people who are rich should play more. I think everybody should be taxed equally, you know, no matter where they are. Our country's in a lot of debt, so we need a lot of taxes. Like, if we fix our all our debts, then the tax rate will obviously go down. Do you know what Obamacare is? No, I just know that's catchy, but that's pretty much it. Maybe it's a school for Obama? Obamacare is basically a health care but free. It's a health care plan that Obama put through that Republicans hate. Do you like talking about politics? No, I don't even know what politics are, so no. I just want to be a kid. I just want to ride my bicycle. I just want to do my homework. I don't want to do my homework, but I don't want to pay attention to all this stuff. Why is it so hard for people to talk about politics with each other? Like, why do people get so upset at each other? Because you could be talking with a friend, and then all of a sudden you you have this huge barrier because like you're like, no, Obama's, and then they're like, oh no, Romney's, blah, 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 and then boom, they're apart. I don't care what you're saying. All you're saying is stuff that doesn't matter. What I'm saying is true, so listen to me, and if you don't, I'm not going to talk to you anymore even though you're my son and I love you. I just don't want to get into it because you could start a whole argument and it's just not the best thing. So let's talk about fish, you know? <laughs> That's what we should do, or Pokemon, you know? My Charizard is better than yours. A lot of people that can vote choose not to vote at all. What do you think about those people? I think it's fine. You do whatever you want. I think you should vote. Even if you don't want to, I think you should. Some people don't get a say in who their leaders are and it's almost offensive to them because they would kill to be able to have a say in who the leader of their country is going to be. And if you were old enough to vote, who would you be voting for? Obama! I'm gonna have to go for Obama. Mitt Romney! Both. I would just say to vote for both of them. Good luck. I don't know. I'm, I don't really vote because I'm too young and I don't understand voting. But no, I'm not sure. And finally, what advice would you give to Romney and Obama to help them win the election? Okay. Ragging on other people 
doesn't make you sound like a better person. Just be yourself and tell people what you're honestly gonna do because they're gonna find out anyways. In your campaign, you play the song in the background, Don't Worry, Be Happy. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. First of all, you have to be friends with everyone. If you don't like them, make friends or outside. That's the ending of you. That is great advice, Emma. That is great advice. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching this political episode of Kids React. Tell us what videos you want me and my friends to watch. We'll be back soon, so make sure you subscribe. Who are you going to vote for? Let us know in the comments. Vote, 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 vote. And remember, your vote counts. <laughs>